Welcome back to Let's Play Eador Masters of the Broken Worlds Beta Campaign. I thought of making this shorter, for example, EMBC. I think EMBC is good for Eador Masters Beta Campaign. So I will call this EMBC from now on because it's too long to say all the way. And I hope you see my mouse button now. I've got the tip that you don't see my mouse button. Uh, mouse button. <laughs> most button and I was um, quite quite strange it must have been quite strange for you while I was explaining things and you did not see my mouse button but now you see I hope well what are we going to do we have conquered our first village our first province our troops are well still in very good condition I think we can Princess Lands is a little bit hard, but we see here is the wood. So I think back home we will build a library to get some spells. And after that, I hope we can buy uh, build a school of sorcery for the net spell. That's our idea for the moment. And so we're walking back to get the spell. And so we walk, 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 walk. Wonderful. We build our shrine. Our, you see, now it will occur. Ta-da! So, about magic. You can only build four of this, then the other two will be no longer available. I recommend School of Sorcery. Why? Because the extravaganza is one of the best rituals you can have. It makes the people happy. If you have a province where the people are rebelling, this this um, ritual and people will be happy. Net. Every enemy from the orcry over the troll to the enemy bowmen with this spell you can um, put them out of battle. You know this from World of Warcraft perhaps. Um, I do not know what, uh, what the special term for this is. Um, but taking him out of battle. This is a very good thing, Astral Energy, because you get a second turn with this unit where you cast it on. And it restores seven Stanima points. On a world like this, where Stanima is decreasing far, uh, far more um, fast than normal, this could be a very good spell. And if you got the right unit, a second turn is wonderful. Furthermore, this one, this spell. Not quite as good, but still good. Second one I recommend to have is the Altar of Chaos. Why? You get Burn Ammo. Enemy Bowmen, no problems with Burn Ammo. Burn Ammo also works against enemies and creatures that use um, ranged-like abilities, like uh, stoning. You know what's the, the right term for this? Is turning someone into stone. A Medusa, for example, or something like that. Or enemy wizards. Well, mostly their resistance is too high for this to work, but it works at some point. Vulnerability lowers the enemy defense. Very good. Showmoning an imp. An additional troop on the battlefield for only three hit points. Wonderful. I furthermore recommend Spare of the Wings. The spells are of no real use, but this one is very important. Fairwind, four extra movement on the campaign card. Very good to get where you need it. This one I do not recommend. This one I recommend only because uh, this Candles of Light heals all units in an army for five points. It's a ritual. It cannot be used in battle. This is very important. And this one is not too bad because of fear. There are many units like goblins who have a very low morale and with this spell, especially on a world where morale is lowered, this spell can do wonderful things. Here the skeleton and the zombie are quite more useful on other cards than on other cards because they do not lose stanima. They have no exhaustion. So the desert is no problem for them. So now, hands up, we get the spell and furthermore, <laughs> trust me, we'll take this spell. So, yeah, this must be, this should be good. So, now let's see what we are going to. 
You see, now we can use our first ritual, Extravaganza. We do not have the gems for that, and uh, we do not have... We try to go there. You see, here is iron, here is wood. These are the two main resources, and we can have them from the start if we win this battle now. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Let's see what they have. Bowman, crossbowman, pikeman, crossbowman. I say this is possible. We are not as many as... But we can do this. I'm pretty sure we can do this. Trust me on this one. Oh boy. I still think we can do this. So, that was wonderful. Now he's up the hill. This is, this is not that wonderful. So, we can throw things at him. What we're trying to do is we try to uh, make them run out of stamina. This is our plan. So, let's do this. You see, now he cannot attack back. I think this shootout with the bowman was our mistake. That is the reason why we might lose this battle. Yep, now he will shoot us to death. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. We can still do this. I'm pretty sure we can do this if I play my cards. More exhaustion would be more helpful here. So give me a sec. Uh, there's one question I ask myself. What does this cost? No, we cannot afford that. As Except we would attack the ruined tower. Didn't we get up a little? We got magic, okay. Okay, let's see. Out, out, in, in. The good, uh, the good thing on the level zero spells is they do not come and that is very important in the beginning we need our gems we need every last gem we can save so okay attack what do we want them to do we want them to walk as far as possible to get through to us Because in that reason they will have an exhaustion problem, which we hopefully will not have. So. He is very weak now, so no, uh, not our problem at the moment. So we can start casting things. He 
is is already very low so that's okay what is our stamina where well, we are still okay we let them come once more Okay, this does not look very good for our main hero. But now comes our time to shine. They're all nearly out of stamina. We must survive this shot somehow. If we can do this, we're out of trouble. So, the morale is not the problem here, but the stanima. I hope he cannot shoot on this distance. Oh boy, that, that, that will hurt. Yes, that hurt a lot. You rest a bit. And you rest too. You rest. You rest. You shoot. You move a little. So, rest, you rest anyway. So, now comes our time to shine. Uh, can we cast anything? How much stamina has he got? Zero. So no use. Well, if we win this, we will win this on the edge of destruction. But we can do this. He's exhausted, we are exhausted. And the main thing is we win this somehow. And we did. Isn't that a marvelous, um, how do you say, example of tactical warfare using the Shard's special ability? This battle could not have been won on a normal Shard. This battle was only possible because the shard reduces the stanima of the units by walking through normal terrain. So you see, shards are wonderful. Uh, life points, life points. And we have a hell of a lot. Oh, they are not very happy. Why, why are you discontent, my friends? No, I think we should start something here. An extravaganza. And they're calm. Is there a special giant spiders? No, 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 no. We are not we're not in for giant spiders. So we're moving back. We're simply moving back.
So, why I'm not attacking the desert? Because the desert and at the moment has no income for us. And no use. We might fight things there, find things there that can be of use for us, but at the moment that is not our concern. Our concern is repair our equipment, get spells, So, Brigand Outlaws, what is our income at the moment? We have a, a, a negative income, that's bad. And to be real honest, they're all a pain in the ass. Well, perhaps we are lucky with the goblins. For goblins, Okay, we might, might find um, things that we can use there, but more importantly, I think we can find experience points there that will help us. So. I hope he survives this. Yes, they are doing not much much damage because of our special feature. Now how to do this? Uh, no, 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 we're not wasting gems on this one. So. You will do your best to die as I expect you to do. Oh, the music is wonderful by the way. And we did it. We get health. That is not good. Health is at the moment of no use to us. I will give, get this, uh, make this another try. This marsh, but to be real honest, health we can do absolutely no good. Fortitude! That is so a wonderful spell! I cannot explain how wonderful I find this spell. The most marvelous spell in the game. So. They can do not much to impress me at the moment. So we'll do our best to kill these bastards. Oh, that hurt. So, you kill him, and done. Please, no health. Command! Wonderful! And Swamp Knowledge, very important. And Mobility, one more movement point on the, on the campaign card. This is very, very important. 
think of Napoleon what he said movements wins war wins a war so stamina stamina is quite important this is not quite as important so now what we need is a healer how do we get a healer we need a healer therefore we need this building which we construct we must stay one more turn here so we can look if we can destroy something else demologists could be possible but I don't think so medusas I think have a too high defense to be of any use for us so I think we explore one round Uh, now we, there was one thing dump we did. The point is, we need to build Drake and we do not have the Mandrake resource. So the only thing we can do is try to get some money. Two Medusas are a lot, I'm not sure we can off. The only point we perhaps can pull this off is our old trick Yes, the Stunima trick. Question is... Oh boy, look at this resistance. We cannot Stunima them. There's no way we can exhaust them simply by walking around, I fear. Yeah. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Here we have no chance. I think we will have no chance with the demol. I go. Either we can try that things for us. For the demologist party, I will. Normally they send imps. Shamans and imps, which is not good for us. Shamans, uh, imps are very good spellcasters. They can do a hell of a damage. And we cannot really exhaust them. We can try, but I don't think this makes much sense. Yeah, they will shoot him down. There's nothing we can do. No, 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 no. We do not stand a chance here. So, back to where we came from. And let's first about 50 gold, I think. Let's see if I'm right. The healer house costs 100 gold. The healer himself, we do not see at the moment. So... What is here on extras? Few locations, goblins. We go to the ruined tower. Uh, build. Healer house. Construct. And what does a healer cost us? Oh boy. Very expensive. Well, let's hope we get lucky with the six goblins. Six goblins is a lot and we are damaged, but we can give it a try. Our main luck is, as always, that we can put them out of most of their misery simply by using our fortitude spell. So, let's see what they're up to. There's someone down here. Now this could be a problem. 
these goblins do a hell of a damage for their size. And of course they exhaust us. Where we much must interfere. Problem solved, they are down to one. We are also down. But we can do this. And done. Seven gold, that's not much. I have hoped for more, to be honest. A short sword, which is of no use. Now comes a maneuver you should not practice too often. You see, we are have a negative income. You can get below zero. Then you have a debt. And this step grows as long as you have a negative income. But your troops are not deserting. You have bought them. They are, there. they are there for you. So it's not that terrible. But at the moment we have no other choice. So we get our healer. And this is one of my most favorite combinations. Three barbarians and a healer is a very, very potential. A very potential combination. Trust me. So, uh, a vulnerability scroll. At the moment, we have no use for it. We have learned all spells that are at the moment useful. So I say, you've seen battles, you have seen hard battles, you have seen me fail and win. You, I hope you see my mouse button now. I want to personally thank my subscriber, um, uh, the person in YouTube that wrote me uh, that this is uh, that you cannot see the mouse button. I hope for more tips and um, if you have any questions, just ask, just block. I'm happy to show you this game because I think it's one of the most marvelous games I've ever played. And trust me in this, I've played a lot of games. Ask my wife. <laughs>